Christmas. Hi and welcome to the vlog. Alice and I are in York. And right now we're in this really cool little pub that has like tents over it. And they don't serve any food in the pub, only drinks, but there are food stalls around here and you're allowed to eat the food from the food stalls. So we're going to have Korean fried chicken and bao buns and sweet potato fries. And Alice is so hungry that she doesn't know what she's gonna do with herself. Where have we been today? the music is so loud. We have been to Jorvik Viking Centre. We are on holiday. We are on holiday. We are on holiday. Yeah, we've been to Jorvik Viking Centre and we got to go around it on a boat and watch everything they'd built up to make it look like the real the real Viking town. So it was amazing and Alice wanted to go again. When you buy a ticket for your week, you actually get um, a one-year ticket, so we could go back. There's actually no reason at all why we can't go back. I might want to do that, because it was a really cool place. Wasn't it? And after our lunch, can we go on the boat again? No, not today. We can't go back today. Today, after our lunch, we're going to go to the shambles. Um. Shambles. That's right. We're actually on our way home. So I'm both excited and a little bit sad. I'm so excited to be in York. But being in York means that we're halfway home already. Ew, that's so Those are sweet potatoes. Those are sweet potatoes with uh, katsu. Ew. I like this, I like this. Yep. And then we have chicken with barbecue sauce. You like barbecue sauce, don't you? Oh my god, there's so much food. And this is a bao bun with prawn. Can I have the prawn? You want a prawn? With as little stuff on it as possible. Yes, thank you. Amazing, thank you so much. No problem, enjoy. Okay, darling. That's a cool place where we had our lunch. That was cool, wasn't it? And now somebody has decided, I think it's pretend, that she's broken her leg and I have to carry her because I don't have a wheelchair. Oh my god! No, I'm not tending on my leg, mommy. No, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't believe the queue for that, so because I think diagonally and the film was based on the shambles here in Yorkshire. They're, they're trying to do what they can, but it's, they, now, oh, they now call it the shop that must not be named. But Alice has just spotted this. Come on, go in. Yeah, somebody's making a fuss of me. Somebody's gonna make a fuss of me. Oh, look at that, Alice. The dog has basically rolled in underneath me. Oh, you're, you're pushing me over. <laughs> I think this is going to be the highlight of the whole trip, is the dog in the tea shop. Alice, we need to leave. <laughs> well, she said the clothes are five and I can leave her here, so I think, you know, I might. <laughs> That is the biggest soft in the world. Right, Alice, we need to go. Mm. This is how you get a child with selective hearing. She, all she can hear right now is the dog saying, make a fuss over me, make a fuss over me, make a fuss over me. Oh, 
Oh, don't leave, the dog says. Don't leave. Stay with me forever. Alice, we need to go. We need to go. You need to say goodbye. I think the dog wants to come with you, but the dog is going to stay here. here. It is true, I feel excited about Christmas now too. Oh my god, these are ridiculous. Good she found something to climb on. We're actually gonna to go to the city wall and see if we can go on that. But apparently these grass clad things are as good as a playground. Mommy, <sighs> where's, where's the playground? This is a play as good as a playground. Where's the playground? Mommy! Yes? That's the climb wall. That's the York Minster, that's the cathedral. We're wandering around in York, we're kind of at the opposite end of the, if you sort of think about the old town, the central part of town, we're at the opposite end of it from where we have the car. But we got an hour before we need to start making our way back to the car. We've gone through shambles, we found some dogs. It's been alright actually. It's been an alright day. It was fun in, in the Viking centre too. I really enjoyed it. I've wanted to go for ages and I, I would have enjoyed it more. It's like with all of these things, like when you do things with Alice, you have to do them at a four year old's level. And that's not really my level of tourism. Like if I went to Lindisfarne, I could easily be there for a whole day and just wander around and explore the entire island really slowly and go into the museum and into the castle and into the priory, all of that kind of stuff. But of course, Alice's idea of a good day at Linda's farm was to climb on the cliffs and then go. Yeah, and, and if I'd gone to Eurovic Viking Centre, I would have spent ages looking at the artefacts and everything. But for Alice, it was the ride and then we were done. Well, actually, no, it was the ride and then we were grumpy because we couldn't go on the ride again. I can see a mad unicorn jumping in the background. I literally uploaded a video on my channel and I played with Henry yesterday. I got a fellow vlogger next to me. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'm coming. We're going up on the York. We're going up on the York City Wall. This is exactly right. Definitely what she needs. Probably what I need as well, actually, just moving and walking and really enjoying York from a nice view. It's really cool when you get sort of rooftop views of places. Oh my god. Check out that roof garden. Oh, I'm jealous now. And somewhere in the distance is my child. Oh, well, she can only really one, run one direction here, so... Oh my god, the views from up here. Shall we throw you down here and you tumble all the way to the bottom? No! Okay. I see a lot of amused adults coming my way as Alice is running ahead as fast as she can with a unicorn horn on, just making everybody smile.